what drama is currently going down in the world of your hobby that the rest of us probably haven't heard about. There's this guy, let's call him Bob at the local farmer's market that sells microgreens. This is a new fad, and he was getting great business. Words of his sales started reaching more traditional farmers, who now decided that they wanted a piece of his sweet watering hole. A few weekends ago one of them showed up selling microgreens slightly cheaper than Bob. Well, Bob showed up undercutting the bagag guy. Now they are fighting with each other for that niche market. Last weekend a third player joined the game. Can't wait for this next weekend. A lot of rules changes in figure skating. The rules that everyone wanted to pass got rejected, and the ones we didn't want to pass did. They made it much worse, no wonder why it doesn't have a lot of fans. Luke Heimlich, a pitcher from Oregon State University, is currently eligible for the MLB draft. Phenomenal baseball player that, based on talents alone, world warranted a first round selection. Luke Heimlich is a convicted child molester. When he was a teenager, he repeatedly touched his little niece. It started when she was 4, he spoke up at 6. He would touch her inside and out, and force himself onto her, after she told him to stop. He recently broke silence about his conviction, because of his dreams to play MLB baseball. He now claims he only pleaded guilty, to protect his family and is innocent. Some in the world of baseball feels he deserves a second chance, because he was a kid, and has been an upstanding citizen at Osu. Most hope and pray, that their favorite team doesn't go anywhere near him. It was recently reported that the Baltimore Orioles were having discussions about drafting him. As of writing this, it's the third day of the draft in the 30th round of 40. He remains undrafted. I'm a hobby craftsman. I enjoy doing everything from making furniture to decor to artistic pieces. With the major rise in Pinterest over the past 5 or so years I now get a lot of remarks along the lines of oh that is nice did you get that idea off of Pinterest, and I've seen something like that on Pinterest that I was considering trying to make, and the worst of all. You should look on Pinterest there are tons of DIY projects with how to guides. On the outside I'm nodding and pretending to seem interested, but on the inside I'm screaming I was doing this before it was cool. This isn't some DIY palette wood idea this took me over 50 working hours to make, and is an original design new monster. Splatoon 2 is having a big issue with cheating during the online play. Since Splatoon 2 uses a peer-to-peer -peer system without any dedicated servers, it is difficult to catch cheaters. Splatoon 2's reporting system is also bonkers. You have to download a separate app on your phone, and certain modes of the game, Salmon Run don't allow you to report players. To top it all off, Nintendo also wants players to pay $20 e for online play, even though they don't have dedicated servers, and it costs $0 for them to maintain a P2P system. Homebrew clubs are seeing a steady decline in membership and homebrew club events are becoming more sparsely attended. We are victims of our own success, the best homebrewers went pro and started making and selling the beer that everyone else, who isn't a homebrewer, now drinks and enjoys. The talent vacuum left behind a cadre of older brewers who have neither the knowledge or the inclination to reorganize and cater to a younger crowd, and young brewers whose free time is being sucked up by facebook events and just plain going out and buying excellent beer instead of brewing it. In animation and cartoons, everyone is getting into a flame war about oversimplified art styles and specifically attacking CalArts, because creators of Thundercats, Raw, Steven Universe, Teen Titans Go, ETC came from there. People seem to think they're a link between shit cartoon styles and CalArts, and honestly I don't know how to respond to this situation. YouTuber service dog Paws, known for her aggressive service dog education videos got her account terminated. People think it's because she uploaded a video she took of her doctor without their consent. Regardless, she rebranded her backup family blogging account and is trying to make a comeback. I say good riddance. She works a dog who is too timid and scared to properly task and makes a dog a good 20 pounds too light for it do mobility work. She also just as rude and looks for drama in random public spaces. 
Is this the lady who had videos titled shit like Lady Harris is me and my service dog and won't let Lois through? Yup that's her. Flight Sim Labs is a company that makes an add-on aircraft for a flight simulator platform. Back in February they admitted to downloading actual malware onto people's computers, and if you use a pirated serial number, it would take all your Chrome passwords and send it, using an insecure communication protocol, to a server that had remote access open to the internet. There was a huge lash back, and the best we got out of them was a we're sorry you got offended by this. Fast forward to last week. They got caught inserting a file into system and syswow directories in Windows. These are system directories that should never ever be touched by an installer for no reason. These are where mission certical applications live. They are empty programs, but look suspiciously like Tatix malware programs used to hide themselves and execute other things after it's started. They deny up and down that this is what is happening. But if you delete the programs, the add-on won't work. They've threatened a few websites and the moderators of slash r slash flight sim that saying anything that might imply it's malware is liberals and they will contact their legal team. Beekeeping most keepers in my region lost more hives than usual this past year due to a harsh winter and the upward trend of colony collapse. Surprisingly, hive numbers overall are up. This is good news as it seems we are getting a lot more noobs than usual. Use Vingar instead of heavy duty weed killers please. Pretty much all of the local astronomy clubs lack a significant portion of people under 55 and have no one under 18 besides me. Less than 20% of users on most astronomy websites are under 45 and a measly 2% are under 18. The hobby is dying and the telescope manufacturing industry continues to churn out either crap or crap with electronic jismus that kills interest for all but the most dedicated. And no one actually makes their own telescopes anymore, save for a few dozen dedicated people here and abroad. I'm probably one of the last six people in my state who does so, and again, the only one under 45, let alone 18 or 25. This is a good drama. A sumo wrestler from Georgia, Tachinashin, has just attained the second highest rank of Aziki. This is very rarely achieved, and he did it after coming back from a catastrophic knee injury that forced him to spend years fighting his way back to the top ranks. He's a fan favorite and has done it with phenomenal power sumo. His rise has been dramatic and exciting and has left the sumo world aglow. Not currently going on. But there was drama in the fish scene a while back affectionately known as Tarp Gate. Fans were coming to shows early and putting down tarps to reserve spots for them, and their friends in gas sections and people were getting pretty heated. It was a big to-do at the time, but has since died down. I do improv comedy in a local area, not one of the big comedy cities like New York City and Chicago. Almost two years ago, our theater had a massive schism where a lot of veteran players left with no stated reason to the other people that worked and performed there. Rumor mill went around that the theater head had done one too many acts of sexual harassment against female employees there and it pissed a lot of people off. Us performers only heard his side of the story for a while, but he was still very, if you ever hang out with those people who left, you can't perform here. A hold offensive mode. Come this time last year, someone made a public FB post about being raped by the theater head. The theater, which was already in a lot of inner turmoil, dissolved quickly from there. The theater head was blackballed from any comedy theater, and without him running it, the theater closed. This came around the same time as Weinstein, but lesser known, was some of the heads of large improv theater companies were also called out for being sexual assailants, or at the very least allowing sexual assault to happen in their theater, and not taking appropriate actions. There was additional drama that spawned from the fallout, but yeah, the improv world is kind of punch drunk right now from all of these allegations from big theaters. In the world of LEGO, they are facing a lot of competition from Chinese companies like Lepin who flat out rip off everything from LEGO. The design and artwork on the box look virtually identical to LEGO, and it's as clear cut an example of piracy and trademark infringement as you can get. As an example, here is a LEGO Death Star and here is the Lepin counterpart. It's such a blatant infringement it's ridiculous. 
The Lego set sells for $400. The Lepin set for $150. Lego has been suing them for a long time as well as other Chinese knockoff companies, but not having much luck in shutting them down as Chinese courts aren't all that great at protecting IPE. In the world of ukulele there are also China-related problems. Once upon a time you could pay $50 to a company like Kala and get a good beginner quality uke. Now there are Chinese companies flooding Amazon and other online stores with rip-off brands like Kaka that look very similar and are just utter garbage. People try to play them and can't. Some beginners give up on the hobby. Other instruments are having the same problem. A popular online poker site has been significantly raising the amount they charge their users to play the game. One of their sponsored poker players, who is also one of the most famous in the world and generally well respected otherwise, has been saying that it's good for the game as it will drive away the professionals and make the game easier as a result, attracting more recreational players who won't notice the price increase as much. Many people find this argument ridiculous. Some sort of agree. Another popular poker player has been trolling the shit out of the guy. Prismacolor pencils have dropped considerably in quality, to the point that they are no better than the cheapest brands. They are still the same price as always of course. You can look at the cores and see they are not even centered all the time. They are much more waxy too. Artists seem to be rallying behind Faber Castell as the new king of quality and dependability. I wouldn't know because I haven't managed to get my hands on any yet, but I do want to buy a small set to see how they feel and how the pigment lays. A board game distributor literally disappeared with thousands of dollar sign s worth of games and income. The Malaysian equivalently to the FBI is involved. It's big. Pallia and zoology nerd. We don't get a lot of drama other than the medium is interpreting a study. However not too long ago this one piece happened. There's a guy who is like dinosaurs were all aquatic. All of them. It's because they are too big to walk on land. T-Rex, Ankylosaurus, Raptors, Stego, all aquatic. This is crazy and wrong. But this guy has a book and lectures with his bad theory so one scientist is going around and doing counter lectures to prevent this spread of misinformation. They then hold a debate which ends with the dude with the aquatic theory getting flustered and then just start throwing insults out. Not only was his science wrong, but he cemented his defeat with the mad hominem attacks. I paint rocks. Another girl in my rock painting facebook group gets her rocks shiny using a special resin. But she won't tell us what kind it's art epoxy slash resin. I use it now and it's amazing. I created a club in college that had a facebook group. I hadn't thought about it in years but posted something the other day I thought they would get a kick out of. Well some busy who is the new president deleted my post. Of course my immediate reaction was bie do you know who I am. I made this club and so I deleted her from the fb group. You have a message from the T-Pose man. Like and sub for nothing in return.